Okay, welcome back to turn 52 of Heavy Hitters. And, yeah, I'm going to have a crunch turn with the Hellcat here. Because uh, it is going to be moving up into line of sight of where Titan has moved the uh, Panzer IV there. The Panzer IV is almost certainly going to start trying to engage the Greyhound, which is going to be plinking some shots off at it as it reverses. Um... Yeah, so the Panzer IV is probably going to be aiming this way. Yeah, in hindsight, maybe not, but I kind of want to do something uh, just to... Well, we are kind of taking it a bit here. It'd be nice to kill something again. Uh, apart from that, Titan's probably moving up this way, so we're mortaring it. Uh, we're mortaring this wood that he's kind of using as a staging post before he attacks here. He has got a fire team, about five guys, I think, in this building. Uh, and we'll see what happens to them. But, uh, yeah, all lies on the Hellcat and the Panther IV, I think, this turn. And, uh, we will see. Or we will watch it go horribly wrong. But at least we won't be surprised by that. There's a couple of overshoots there as they're getting the iron. Oh yeah, infantry there. It was a good idea to start mortaring that crossroads again. And yeah, here comes like another platoon out in the bleeding open. Well. The plus side is that the Hellcat's not dead. The downside is that it can't see anything. Uh, probably because of that smoke, actually. Uh, and yeah, what's, is he doing it again? Yeah, that's another infantry platoon running out in the open. Just weird, weird, weird. But that's a good sign as well. Uh, that's infantry, so we'll try and... Try and bring some of the, uh, the mortar fire a bit closer in. I think Tiger's gone forward a bit too. It'll be interesting to see how long that smoke lasts. But, uh, yeah, let's have a look. What did we get out here? Yeah, we started opening up on these guys with the guys in the church, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, ironically, they should be fairly safe. <laughs> given the uh, the smoke that they got given. That half track is turning around. The King Tiger is now not really doing much of anything. And the four is opening up on the church. Everybody's opening up on the church. Well, we knew that would happen, didn't we? Oh, airburst. That was probably a good one. HQ unit, HQ unit. Those two guys. There's a gun. Yeah, and it's like, oh, let's just move another platoon out in the open. It's kind of annoying I'm not in a position to punish that. But, um, yeah, I think all the way through this game, 
um, I've been wanting to pull off against Titan what I pulled off in, um, like I say, the test game. Uh, the game that we played before this. Um, which I'll, I'll... Actually, I might just put all those turns together. There's only five. That tells you how much... Uh, how well it went for one of us. Um, it's probably worth me putting those together and uh, putting them as, as like a uh, add-on on the end of this video. But... Yeah, let's have a look. It does miss the mortar team here. Actually get some rounds off. No, they actually got an extra round of ammo from somewhere. That makes no sense at all. Uh, right until the end there. But they need to shorten it and shoot around here. And I'm not sure that they're going to be able to do that. So This looks like... Uh, part of the platoon that was pushing this way. It's an interesting bit of smoke popping up there for some reason. Um, right, yeah. I don't think we need to see anything else there, do we? What are you? Are you more infantry? Oh, you were the crew, weren't you? Yeah, okay. Now, first of all, we need you to shorten a little bit. That should be good, because you're pretty inaccurate as it stands. Well, that would be better. here unmolested. Probably we could stash it behind this building and then uh, we should be screened off from the panther there. So So even if the panther moves up to about there, um, I am a little wary of this panther, but I want to put some hurt out. So, of course, it'd be much better if this German was still alive. But you know, we're just getting ground down in the long game. Essentially, uh, that MG only has a few ramps left. I see we're blocked off by that smoke there, so do we want to wait for the smoke to disperse or do we want to do something else? The alternative thing to do with this Sherman is to rush it down here somewhere, because I want, you know, obviously I'd want to kill those guys, but I don't think that's going to be worth it. And I don't think those guys, yeah, they can't even see that. Just uh, hold off for a bit with the mortars. There'll be some rounds in the air. These guys are doing a good job of getting shot at. MG team in there. It's kind of annoying what you miss, you know.
here's a good one. What if we uh What if we push the Greyhound back this way and rush it over to that other flank? Now what if we get the Greyhound uh, back to that other flank and pop it up behind Titan? So let's do that. Now if we get it out here where it can. Uh... Right, no, there it will be exposed to that panther, but. Hmm. It, that panther's probably going to have moved by the time that we get in there. Uh, so. Yeah, let's move, move back up as well. Uh, right up front there, where you can start. Uh, should be able to get eyes on these guys as they're running across there. It's going to take them a while to move, uh, so the Greyhound should be in a position to engage them. Oh yeah, he's pulled another platoon out of the bag to feed into the fight. That's that's okay. Uh, we are, yeah, you know, we still got a lot of time left. That's the issue here. At some point, I'm going to hit crumble point, and my defense is just going to collapse in on itself. Okay, now on to turn fifty. 352, I can't remember. The next turn of the attack for um, heavy hitters. Uh, we've got some more bodies into the church this turn. I think the panther is moving up. Uh, the hellcat we've lost sight of because the MG team in the top decided to shoot at things and, you know, died. Uh, but we know it's in this area. The mortars are coming in. We're getting some MG fire coming in and the 37mm cannon and a little bit of a target briefly from the tiger. Uh, on this edge here in the hope that we will get some overshots and get a bit of plunging fire pinging the uh, at least pinging if we're lucky we might kill it I mean super lucky uh, the Hellcat which is in the, the bottom there uh, Titan didn't move it all up there which is interesting uh, down here um, Titan's MG team here is bugging out there's the, um, I think there should be a scout team down here as well, but these are the um, crewmen from the Jackson uh, who we're going to be trying to suppress. Uh, this half track's moving up, this half track is following it, this one is moving up to give them something else to shoot at. Uh, and yeah, I think that's about it. This half track is moving up to reinforce this stuff. Uh, the flat wagon is going to put a couple of shots out towards the. Hellcat, then it's going to bug out, and we'll see if we can't uh, vaporize that leading sniper team over there, which is such, being such a pain. But, yep. We'll uh, see what happens. There might be in some uh, movement from Titans guys there again in the village, which is, you know, don't have a problem with that. course somebody in the uh, half track gets shot and they panic and yes there's more people down there than we were expecting and you know what that's okay in fact there's loads of people down there let's go kill them all and 
wondering where Titan's defense was all of this time. That's an officer of some description. He's got a pistol or an FO. That's the weapons team. Bazooka. Yeah, loads of stuff. All right, let's let's check this out first. He's really stacked up this front line, which is generally a really bad idea. Uh, it is from the reverse slope, though, so yeah. Yeah, there's yeah, the guy. It's kind of interesting that he stacked it. There's the sniper. Doing something. Oh no, that's a bazooka team. So remember, what I want to do here is kill his troops. So. Helps to know where they are. That's the sniper team. That's the bazooka team. That's the gunner on the half track getting nobbled. Was he opened up? I can't remember. Shouldn't have been. And yeah, of course those guys panic and those guys panic. Yeah. So it could be entertaining to just. Oh, I was going to say to bum rush the Titan, the uh, Titan, the Panther down here, uh, and enfilade down the road, but I don't think that's going to go well. These guys. There's only one, one guy left now. Has he got shot? And did he really have the uh, machine gunner up? Yeah, he did. No, we put him down. Yeah, we closed it up, and then he popped up himself. Well done. And these guys also had him down, and then he popped it up when he saw a target. Why? Why would you do that? But uh, hey, Harold. So he seems to be doing a spectacular job of not shooting anybody as well, which is kind of annoying. What did we get down here? Yeah, near misses and things on the gold uh, Hellcats. Probably enough to make him go, hmm. That's the comedy 37 mil shells. Kind of firing a bit high there. And this guy's lost another guy too. He's a sniper. Awesome. Uh, what did we get in the village there? It looks like Titan keeps trying to push these guys up. Yeah, there goes, here comes some pixel trapping. Maybe I didn't give the orders to the uh, panther. Well, that's quite a lot of pixel trapping. Yeah, there is, you should run away. Guys aren't really doing very much. They're running out this way, where oh my god, what on earth is the Panther doing?
we are going to have to do something with those guys, with that panther, because that is in a silly position. I feel like it's uh, misinterpreted the orders somewhat. Hmm. Somewhat indeed. Um, uh, the half track relay has begun. We'll probably stopped there, particularly because it was on a uh, uh, hunt command. guys need to go to the ground floor so you can help uh, these guys out. It's kind of 50-50. I want to keep low stuff up, f like a low amount of stuff up front and exposed for obvious reasons. But at the same time, you know, at the same time, I want to keep them... Uh, Up, uh, with enough firepower up front to kill things, you know, it's like 50 50. But these guys are completely out of it, this platoon. Uh, well done, this platoon. And the mortis is getting stuck in, isn't it? Yeah, let's keep it rolling. I think. Now, part of me wants to come down here and kill all this stuff. But on the flip side, it's quite a strong position. You know, obviously, you know, when I did it, I had a bad time. Uh, oh, rather, when I was defending, uh, Titan had a fairly bad time when we killed all the pixel truck and doing it. On the flip side, it's obviously he's got like some significant force in there, and I quite like to kill it all. I definitely want to kill the Hellcat. Because um, this is basically, the ground isn't so important, it's more about the, uh, the casualties. Um, but yeah, it would help if the guys didn't like immediately... Uh, panic at the first sign of trouble. Some of that is to do with them not being in uh, you know, command contacts. Uh, but, you know, it's not a tremendous amount I can do about that. Let's just uh, press go. Oh no, we're going to send another platoon up, won't we? Yes. Soon, another um, another half track. getting out there, we can stack them up behind the church and then we might push them forward under the guns of the panther. Um, 
you know, just to grab some more ground in the village. Let's let's see. <laughs> 